Every commercial and residential high-rise building has a unique age, size, location, and proximity. Other variables such as condition and specific view can change throughout the year and are important factors that can impact the building or a particular unit's value. The question faced by appraisers is how to ensure that the property values are set in a consistent and equitable manner. Hexagon Geospatial offers a dynamic 3D visualization solution that can make it easier to understand and uncover discrepancies between an assessed value and the sales price of each particular unit. The approach you are about to see creates meaningful ways to visualize and assess the value of individual as well as groups of units within a particular high-rise building. An appraiser can use these tools to better understand why one unit should be valued in a particular way based on factors such as view in relation to the surrounding areas. These tools can supplement the existing value methodology found in a typical computer-assisted mass appraisal or CAMA system by providing additional justification and support for existing values as well as finding missing incomplete or incorrect values quickly and easily. Robert is here with me today to give you a demonstration. Thanks Danny for the introduction. For this demonstration we are going to start with a traditional 2D map view for an area of interest in Indianapolis, Indiana. This view includes several GIS features. First off, we have a building footprints feature. In this case, this feature delineates the outermost boundaries of all the buildings in the city. We also have a feature class that represents the location and extents of the condominium complex at 118 Wellington Avenue. And finally, we have a feature class that represents all of the individual units that make up the condominium complex. With this last feature displayed, the user can select a unit and view the attributes associated with it. In this case, the attributes represent the data that resides in CAMA. CAMA is a computer-assisted mass appraisal system that is used by most assessors in the U.S. to appraise and value units within high-rise properties. Notice that as each unit is selected, the record in the table at the bottom of our view is highlighted. The highlighted record represents the unit that was selected in the map window and hence displays the CAMA attributions from left to right. Viewing unit information in this fashion is okay. However, with the 2D approach illustrated here, it is difficult to distinguish individual unit features from one floor to the next. The condo complex at 118 Wellington Avenue actually has 18 floors. But in this 2D environment, it's difficult to select units for a specific floor. We need to pay special attention to the attributes for each unit in order to understand which floor is being reviewed. However, with the addition of GeoMedia 3D, you see a much more realistic representation of the building. And as a result, the process of viewing, selecting, and reviewing attributions is much more intuitive. With this approach, you can easily select each unit and view the attributes. This paradigm immediately adds value as you can visually see the change in value from one unit to the next as you move from floor to floor. Note that the table can also be used to select units. When a record is selected in the table, the unit in the map view is automatically highlighted to reflect the selection. The GeoMedia desktop contains a wide array of spatial analysis capabilities that out of the box can immediately add value to the property assessment process. Here we have used the thematic mapping capabilities to display the units that make up the condo complex. In this case, we use the view description attribute to uniquely display the five classes, none, poor, good, very good, and excellent. It should be noted here that the users can easily create a wide variety of thematic maps. For example, they could have used the GeoMedia desktop facilities to create thematic legend entries that reflect any of the CAMA attributes. As you can see, the results of this thematic representation are immediate as the user can instantly detect anomalies in the data. Detecting anomalies is important to the assessment industry as the ability to ensure fair and equitable values depends on the ability to identify and compare values to like properties. Incorrect values affect the ability of the local authorities to collect the correct amount of property tax. To illustrate how dynamic the system is, we will use it to update the view description attributes. Notice that the attribute updates can be done from the properties dialog box, 
or from the table view found in the lower portion of the screen. As soon as the attribute changes are persisted to the database, notice that the system automatically updates the thematic representation to reflect the new value. Now let's move to an overhead perspective and select the Follow Circle feature under the Navigation Group to rotate around 118 Wellington Avenue. To further illustrate the viewing capabilities, let's toggle the View Description thematic legend entries on and off to gain additional perspective of these values. This approach does not provide enough information to effectively justify one view value over another. We really need some context as the valuation ultimately becomes a question of defendability. So to provide this context, we toggle an additional layer called Cityscape on. This layer contains a 3D representation of the entire city. You can immediately see how this adds even more value to understanding the impact of the view on the way we value property. Also imagine the usefulness of these tools for urban planning. If a new building was planned for construction, it would be very easy to create a model and immediately see the impact on the surrounding area, both for planning purposes as well as preparing the revaluation of units that may be affected by this construction. Within the GeoMedia desktop, a user is also able to query their information to focus on specific pieces of data depending on what they're looking for. In this case, a query was created that identified all properties that were within a defined square foot price range. More specifically, a query where all the units that were equal to or greater than $100 per square foot and classified as very good in terms of the view description. It is easy to find those units that do not fit in this query and make changes where appropriate. Once the results of the query have been toggled on, we can see those units that met the criteria and hence it would be easy to find units that do not fit a specific query and make property assessment changes where appropriate. In order to enhance the view, a buffer was created around these results and stylized so that the query stands out. Each of these tools allows a user or property assessor the ability to dynamically view, change and understand their data in ways that make sense and in turn achieve better and more defendable values for their property owners. The next feature we want to show in context of property value assessment is viewshed analysis. Viewshed analysis can be used to further add to our understanding and help justify the value of a particular view from a specific unit. Within GeoMedia 3D, we can select any point within the view and in turn immediately visualize a viewshed. By starting at the lowest point of the building, we can see how the majority of the view from this location is red. Red in this case denotes areas that cannot be seen. As we move up the view, we can see how the view improves. Namely, we can see less red and additional green. Green denotes areas that can be seen. This type of information can be used to help support valuation and defendability when dealing with things like appeals on why a particular view is given a higher valuation over another. One would imagine that the view from the top floor of a building is better and therefore more desirable and worth more based on that view. A viewshed analysis is a quick way to better understand the variation in one view from another and add to a level of support to the valuation process. The last piece of this demonstration shows how a user can set specific points on a building to create views from within each unit, looking out. This functionality addresses the issue of gaining access to a unit to verify a view and valuation. Typical approaches in the past included taking a photograph from street level of the unit and circling that unit within the picture so assessors can understand the unit in question. This approach does not, however, solve the problem of being able to actually see each and every view from within a unit. The capability shown here allows users to evaluate the view from their office. These views can be saved and, if need be, attached to the property records as additional support. Once we snap to the specific view location, we can see the view directly across from the specified unit. In this case, we are showing the view from a 10th story unit. We can pan to the right and left and see an approximation of the view as it would be seen from the window within that unit. 
We can also look up and down or any place from within the building. Using the keyboard, users can move from floor to floor to gain a better understanding of how the view improves or declines as you move from floor to floor within the building. This perspective and justification is what adds tremendous value to utilizing GeoMedia 3D for understanding and defending valuation of multi-story, multi-unit properties. Finally, it's important to point out that any view created within GeoMedia 3D can be saved and added to a file for future use. In this case, a property appraiser could choose to save a complete 180 degree view and attach it to this property record within their system. Once again, identifying and verifying each view from each particular unit can be done easily to ensure that the unit on each floor is reviewed. Well, Danny, I hope that you too found this demonstration interesting and of value to our users of GeoMedia 3D. At this point, I'll pass it back to you. Thanks, Robert. That was a very good demonstration of how you can use GeoMedia 3D for multi-story, multi-unit property valuation and visualization. All the key points were covered in detail, so no need for me to recap. In addition to being able to uniquely quantify and logically justify the appraisals for each unit, there are some additional takeaways from the demonstration. The truly immersive experience that 3D provides when you're going through a number of spaces having the same square footage allows you to easily be able to decide which one is the best selection on the spot, saving multiple physical visits. I'm sure that would be appreciated by potential tenants and real estate agents alike. Getting a visual summary of all the available properties early on to start narrowing down the units that are most preferred will be a big time saver for everyone involved. Also, there will be no more surprised obstructed views after a tenant moves in. That concludes the demonstration today. Thanks for your time and have a great day.